Tekken Bloodline. Now, I know a good deal of the Tekken lore, mostly around the Kazuma family, or the Mishima Zaibet Zaibatsu, stuff along those lines. But I'm not deep, deep into it. There are things that I'm not aware of. I know of Jun, I know of Heihachi, I know of Jin, I know of the cousins, the family relations. There are certain characters that I'm just very aware of because I follow Tekken to a certain degree, just not overly religiously. And I've seen just about every bit of extra Tekken media that's out here. So as soon as this was announced that it would be telling the story of Jin, I was all on board. But if you see most Tekken stuff like the original anime Tekken movie that centered around Kazuya or Tekken Blood Vengeance, they tend to be kind of eh, just kind of okay for the most part or kind of eh, or not that good. So it's not as though I'm expecting too too much out of this, I'm just fascinated. So join me won't you? for Tekken Bloodline. And let's see how messed up the Mishima family can get this time, shall we? Hmm, who's this? Kazuya? Hmm, yeah, it's Kazuya. Talking about Kazuya's infinite hatred, Heihachi. Oh, oh Jun. Oh, what's going on? Oh, dang. What the hell? Okay, back when Jin was a, a much kinder person. And why are they even doing all of this? Yeah, you didn't want this smoke, guys. <laughs> nice. He was taking it easy on you. Oops. Like you won, man. That is true. No one to stop. A little something that comes from his father. That ruthlessness. <sighs> Why would you call him by his full name? <laughs> you have much to learn, Jin Kazama. Like, uh, yes, Jin Kazama? <laughs> like, what? Heihachi, the mad bastard. Oh, the Mishima bloodline has been fucked up for generations. Okay, got a few of the characters here and there. Paul! Oh, are we gonna see... Okay, that looks like a temple. Oh. Ah, King! Are we gonna see Ogre too? That was the name of the creature, Ogre, right? Again, it's been a hot minute since I've thought about Tekken. Ooh, that's kinda rough. Actually, I don't think we get too much of Jin and Jun's relationship mo in most iterations of the series. You have a greater destiny, Jin. Ooh, that's kinda beautiful. Oh, they're on an island. Oh, he totally should have hurt him. Ah, uh, so he could have he could have gotten around that ass whooping, trying to get him to understand control. Experience oh, good before anything else. Ugh. Well, immediately diverting as soon as he talk he talks about this dad. <laughs> strong mind, strong body. Oh, it's so sweet. You can already see where this is going. If you didn't already know. Ah. Ooh. Dang. Nice. A nice bit of a reminder of how good June is. Quell your mind. You have the skill. Be in the moment. Ooh. Nice. I like the elegant way that June moves. Huh. Yeah. Power stance. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Ah, something new. Okay. Aww. But her techniques rely much more on flexibility, not so much on power. It's Jin actually. Ooh! Oh, God, I'm waiting for that shoe to drop. Yeah, is it. What was Jun's job? Was she like a wildlife preservationist? Was that what it was? It was something to do with nature. Oh, what the hell? Oh, uh, because he beat up his kid. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Oof! Nice. Uh, uh, trying to get him to understand the control. Mm. Uh-oh. That's no animal. There it is. I forget why this happened. He's not gonna listen to that. Heihachi Mishima. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Like, be like, oh, go find Heihachi Mishima. No, do not go find Heihachi Mishima. Never find Heihachi Mishima. So, she taught him the softer side of martial arts. Heihachi will teach him the more... Violent side. Why is he here? What was he searching for? Was it the blood that runs within Jin? Oof. Oh, man. Oof. I'll be honest. I didn't think I really needed to see this happen to her. Oh. Oh, come on. I don't really need to see this happen. Yeah. Ah. Uh. 
You don't know how to re properly redirect your energy, kid. Ugh. She got a pretty good hit in on him. Oh, boy. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, man. Uh. Ooh, got him in a combo. Uh, she's not gonna hold him there, is she? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh. Yeah. It was so telegraphed this was gonna happen, but I... See, I, I, I like... June and all she stood for. And I'm not a big fan of the dead mom trope. Especially because June was a good fighter. Like, she was a very good fighter. <sighs> yeah, and the thing is, you never really know what truly happens to her. You never find a body. A lot of things have implied what might have happened to her, but I don't think those things are canon. After so many years of Tekken, it's the one mystery I... I keep coming back to because I'm curious what happened to June Kazama. Hmm. Uh, that guy seems familiar. <laughs> Gotta have whole outdoors indoors. Yep, that's Heihachi Mishima. Total asshole. It's still so odd. I don't know the full details of what kind of arrangement Heihachi and June had. Because this is how it went down in the games, how, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Ah, uh, Jin. You really don't want any of this. This isn't gonna end well. <laughs> Fight me. It's like, boy, I said I want the smoke. Ooh, you're getting attacked. How about now? Oof, power strikes. Ooh, just like old times, eh, hey, Hachi? Beating up on kids. Oof. Ah, uh, Jin. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised. I didn't think Heihachi had that much respect for the Kazama family. Yeah, you know what that means. Ogre, yeah. Uh, Jin, you don't want this. You know, with all the monsters in the Tekken series, Heihachi is the devil. Heihachi is the devil. <laughs> this is like, there's so many demons and monsters and evil monstrosities within the Tekken series, but... Heihachi? Nah. Heihachi is a demon called man. <laughs> I will admit, uh, the animation's a little stiff in places, and it's obvious in certain scenes they're doing more 2D than 3D, with a 2D overlay. But it's not terrible. That's the thing. It is not terrible. But I tend to be a little bit softer than most people when it comes to this kind of stuff, because I've seen really terrible 3D CGI. There's so many people who hate on it nowadays, and to a certain degree, I understand why nobody wants to see it completely overtake how good 2D could be. And at the same time, it's like, eh, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I feel like more people need to give it a little bit more of a chance in certain situations. Because even 2D animation can still be like, ugh. Even nowadays, I've seen some really stiff looking 2D animation. But there's some nice movements, some good moments. And I like that this, again, built up the relationship between Jin and June. Because I always felt like that was something I didn't get as much as I should have. There were times when the characters would reminisce about June, and she'd be presented kind of in flashback. But aside from that first Tekken game, June isn't really presented like as a character rather than a plot device. I mean, she's still a plot device here, but I don't know. I, I, I just like the way she's incorporated a little bit better. And I liked actually full on seeing her fight against Ogre. Now, don't get me wrong, some of the stuff that I've said I've never seen might have actually been something that was seen in one of the games that I just missed out on. So feel free to correct me if there's anything that I'm misspoke about and shown my ignorance in, re in regards to. But so far, this is following the story of Jin Kazama. If there's any differences that you notice that might be egregious or might be changes for the better, let me know in the comment section below. And how do you feel about the animation style? How do you feel about the lessons that June imparts to Jin? How do you feel about the June versus Ogre fight? I kind of like the way that she took him down. It was more desperation than her getting an out and out victory, but Ogre still had to retreat to a certain. I don't know, I, I kind of like it. 
Although, depending on what damage we see Ogre take later down the line, it's going to be like, why did that get him to go away? But again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. And until next time, I've been Dude This Then, and I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.